Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for the week of the 16th of April through the 22nd. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid whenever this resonates, and it may not all resonate, just take what does and leave the rest. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and then uh, reveal it at the end, unless it flips over and, you know, they're really wanting to come out, so we'll see what happens. Maybe you're wanting to come out. Maybe you've got something that you need to say. So we're going to reveal it at the end, unless it flips over. Oh, well, one flipped over, so you got lucky. Love yourself first. Love yourself first. That means put yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Make yourself number one. Same deal. If it flips out, you get to see it. If it don't, you'll have to wait. Oh, see, they really, something needs to be said. They really want to come out. We just had a pile come out again, and this hasn't happened with the other ones. You guys have something that needs to get off your chest. Mm-hmm. Virgo. What do we have for the sign of Virgo? Oh, we had a dropper. Okay, you guys gotta let go of something. You're you're resisting a change. You're stalling. You're sacrificing yourself, your life, your future. Resisting a change that needs to happen. You're hanging on to something that that isn't wanted. What is this? Could be a job, could be love, whatever whatever it is. You're hanging on to something you don't want to be part of. You're sacrificing yourself when it's really time to let go. You need to get moving. What are you waiting for? It's time. It's time to get moving. Have no fear. You're letting fear get in the way, perhaps, of independence. Are you, get, are you afraid to take care of yourself? Are you afraid that you're going to lose money if you leave that job, whatever it is, that you're not going to have enough money? Are you, you're letting fear hold you back when you should have no fear. You're being called to have no fear. Even though it's going to be a struggle to accept this change, don't let fear hold you back. There's a lack of self-worth. There's a lack of self-love. There's a lack of happiness and abundance here. This is inner abundance to me right now. This could also mean that you, you feel like you don't have enough money or you're going to lose assets or you're going to lose money if you follow your heart. But there's a feeling of pity, self-pity. There is. Lack of confidence, lack of courage, lack of strength. Weak. I'm weak. I don't have the confidence to do what I need to do to do what I want to do. I don't have the courage and the strength and the confidence. I don't love myself enough. What the hell is this? Somebody's really worried about how they're going to be judged. If I if I make this move, what's everybody else going to say? But you do need to make a conscious change and let something go. This is about making the conscious change to drop this. It's too heavy. You need to free yourself from whatever is holding you back. 
You are you are letting you are sacrificing yourself for something. What is this? It's time for a conscious change. It's time to let it go. It's time to drop it. It's time to free yourself from this burden that is holding you back. Yeah, it's time for you to take the lead. It's time for you to get back to where you need to be. It's time for you to find that strength that has been buried somewhere. It's time for you to do the practical thing. Be loyal to yourself, please, Virgo. You have all the skills to succeed in whatever you do. This tells me, I know that you do. I told you you have the strength. I know that you have the strength. I know that you do. What's the problem? Is it like buried? You have the wisdom to survive with whatever decision that you make. You have to let go of ego and not worry about what anybody else has to say about your decision. It's time for you to start a new life, a new chapter, made a new beginning. One phase of your life is, is over. It's ending. It's not meant to be. Okay, it's not. This is a completion of a cycle, a completion of a big phase in your life. It's a completion. It's the last card in the deck. Something is over because you're being called to start something new. It's time to step over the finish line and be bring your own success back to your life. Hold on, I gotta I gotta turn the stove down. catch the house on fire <laughs> okay so yeah there's a lack of faith a lack of believing in yourself what is the problem why don't you guys believe in yourself you have the strength you have the courage It's buried I know it's in there it is it's deep down but you guys have lost faith in yourselves Sometimes you have to not take the traditional approach, okay? It's not about what society thinks. If you want to follow society's guidelines, then that's where you're going to be trapped for the rest of your life, okay? You have to believe in yourself. You guys have lost belief in yourself. That's what this is. And your inner guide has been trying to tell you to do something for some time now. This is also your inner guide. Somebody's not listening. Your inner guide is saying, go, do it, do it, do it. Stand up for yourself. Let go. Do it. Follow your heart. Love yourself first. Do it. And you're like, oh, I can't. I'm so scared. I'm so scared of what everybody's going to say. I'm so scared I can't, I can't take care of myself or I can't be prosperous. You, you're, you're, you're scared of what might not happen. But if you only had faith and belief in yourself, you'd know that you have the skills, you have the you have what everything within you to be secure and stable. I mean you do, you do. You're the most secure and stable, you know, the earth signs of them all. You are. Hard work pays off. You don't fail, you don't quit. And that may be why you're stuck in a predicament, is because you don't quit. And it's hard to give up on something you put so much effort into, right? It is. And I don't like to quit. I don't like to quit. And that's what you, I don't want to quit. But you do want to quit. You know what I'm saying? 
you're thinking, 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 thinking. I want to, I want to leave. Either it's a job or a relationship. You guys want to leave, and you're just thinking, 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 and it's like the the clock is ticking, 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 ticking. And now it's about: Do you want to prove yourself to society, or do you want to be happy, Virgo? That's the question here. Where does your happiness come into play? Does it matter? Do you want to sacrifice more time on something that is very unfulfilling? You guys are stalling from taking action. So freaking scared to take action. All you do is think about it. Think about it, think about it, think about it, think about it. Think, 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 think. think. When you really should be focusing on your future and realizing that if you make the moves that your inner guide is telling you to make, your ships will come in just as you want them to. They will. It's time for you to focus on the future. And love. It's time to follow your heart. That's what this tells me. Follow your heart. I believe there could be an offer of love for you that you're afraid. You're so afraid to, to, to go for it. There's a deep connection here with another person that is being blocked. This is blocking a, a relationship. You're blocking it. You're blocking it because you're so afraid This might be somebody you know from your past and it could lead to true love. And when I say somebody from your past, I need to I need to clarify this. This could be somebody that you knew as a child, somebody that was just an acquaintance, somebody you dated, or somebody even that from a past life that you haven't met in this lifetime, but you feel the familiarity instantly. Okay? Right now, somebody is not mastering their emotions. They're just staying stuck. They're unable to move forward because they're letting their emotions get the best of them. Their emotions in a way like you may feel like you're a victim. You may feel like you're not, like I said, you're not strong enough. You don't want to hurt anybody. You know, you're too caring. And, that's, and there is a such thing as too caring because I can see that you need to put yourself first and you're not. You're caring about everybody but yourself, right? The fact of the matter is I think you have an opportunity that you would love right around the corner. Whether this is job or this is relationship, you have an opportunity that you would love right around the corner that would be very, very fulfilling if you would just get out of your head and take action. And You're not following your intuition whatsoever, you're scared of how you're going to be judged. That's a big deal here. Big, 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 big deal. This, you're scared of how other people are going to judge you. You're also scared of the unknown. What if I make this move and it doesn't turn out? Well, the what ifs, they go on for the rest of your life. So you better get used to that one. And I'm not trying to be mean. Strength is the opposite of what if, it really is. You have to find the strength to follow your inner guide and accept those what ifs is, you know, what if you don't? Then you're gonna to continue to sacrifice, then you're gonna to continue to feel let down, then you're gonna to continue to be unhappy. You know, what if, what if, what if? What if you stay, what if you stay and you, live or stay in that predicament for the rest of your life and then you die and you're looking down from above and you're like oh my god I wasted my life because I was worried about how others were going to judge me it's time for you to take the next step whatever this applies in your life it is now time to take the next step It's time to bring the balance back. You, you have the ability to adapt to new situations. You do. 
I feel as though you have a new partnership, whether in a job or love, that is waiting for you. To love yourself first and do the right thing. So Virgo, this is what I have. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Light. Imagine yourself as a being composed of energy and light. Because in reality, that's precisely what you are. You are a powerful being. And people are attracted to your brilliance. This is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are. Remember who you are. You are never a failure. Why do you think that if you put yourself first and do what you want to do that you would fail? You never fail. Follow your inner guide in your heart. And something that you love is right around the corner. Talk to you next week.